Hey guys, Suns fan here with a chest opening video. There were two new chests put in the game today. And they're actually I think the last time we did this they changed it so that you don't get duplicates and there is full sets and all that good stuff. And they've changed it a little bit more again, so I'll go over that. Um now the way that the shop is actually set up now, it's a little bit weird, I think at least. So I said there's two treasure chests right now. They have the spotlight for the one, and the question is, how do you find the second one? Well, you have to go deep. I, I call this deep items, treasure keys, and then it'll show up. So it's these two new ones. So it's the treasure of sinister arcanery and the treasure of cosmic abyss. Now, the cool thing that they changed with this is that you do not need a key because this is a chest and a key all in one, which I always wondered, like, what was the point of gathering chests? in game that was kind of annoying like if I wanted to open chests I had to go to the market and buy them for like 10 cents each or something like that just a little bit of a hassle I feel like so this kind of uh, makes it a little easier for people to buy what they want so with that said I have bought four of each because there are four sets so we will open them right now uh, we'll start with the treasure of the cosmic abyss I do have to mention I I'll be honest I'm not a huge fan of these chests uh, what you can find inside them. It's not like they're terrible, it's just with what we've come to expect from chests in the past, it just doesn't really live it up, uh, live up to what we're used to, or at least in my opinion at least. Um, so we're going to start with Treasure of the Cosmic Abyss, so let's peek inside and see what we can find here. So we have an Enchantress set, which is a rare, a Slark set, another rare, I think these are all rare, okay actually one mythical, Blazing Superiority for Dragon Knight, rare, and Elder Titan, which is a mythical. So we have four sets like the last one, and then the, I guess the other difference that I didn't mention is instead of one rare chance, which there was a very rare chance to get stuff in the last chest, uh, you have two, except one, which is the clockwork set, which I think is the first of its kind, if I'm not mistaken, uh, is very rare. And then an extremely rare is this really cool courier that was essentially made for Kunkka, uh, the hero, not the person. Okay, so let's open this, see what we get. Of course, it's not as, I don't know, it's a little anticlimactic because we know that we're going to get all four sets, but there is a chance we can get something rare, I suppose. Uh, so we start off with the mythical bundle, and I kind of want to find out why that's mythical, to be honest, but we'll, we'll get back to that, I suppose. So we got that, and as you can see, it grays it out so you know that you're going to get these next three, and they still haven't... If you guys remember in the last video, I complained about the countdown. I'm not a fan of this at all. It should be a countdown. I like counting down, and now I can't do it. So it's a little bit saddening to me. But if you do get a rare, I'm told it's on top of the normal item, if that makes sense. So you get two in one if you're able to actually grab that bad boy. All right, so we have all three. I wonder if this is going to be it. Can we get one of these rare ones? I don't know. With my with my luck, probably not, but that's okay. I would like the courier. All right, we get dragon. Is that hairdo? Oh, this is I've seen this. This is like a long-haired dragon knight. It was interesting. Let's leave it at that. Um. Okay, so that's one. Now we have the treasure of the sinister arcanery, and let's peek inside here. So we have a Necrophos set, rare, a Disruptor set, another rare, Ricky rare, and then I'm guessing Mythical, yes, and it is for Silencer. And we still have the same chance to get the Extremely Rare and the Very Rare, so let's, let's see what we can get here. Boom! Mythical, that's, we got the Mythical the first, first time, last time as well. Uh, I know you guys, it seemed like the consensus from you guys in the comments from the last video was that you liked this new uh, way of doing things as far as opening chests, knowing what you're going to get for the most part. And I mean, essentially, you're buying each set for 250 and that's, that's a good deal, obviously. Uh, but does this make this less exciting in general for you guys? If you're opening a chest, is, is it less exciting knowing that you're going to get one of these? That's what I want to know from you guys. So, let us know in the comments. Got two left. And we need to start like a... Like the game is literally unplayable with this countdown. I feel like. 
Okay, we got one more chance. Can we do it? And... Oh, okay, well done, friends. So as you can see, this is the new chest. Uh, I still... I do prefer this chest over the old ones where there's... Well, first of all, it's full sets, which is obviously much better. Uh, it makes it a little bit less exciting knowing that you're gonna, what you're going to get, but at the same time, it kind of counteracts the fact that you don't have duplicates and all that nonsense, which was quite annoying to say the least, as you guys probably remember from my first chest video where we opened a million chests and got like 20 Phantom Lancer weapons. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, which is probably going to be a long time since the... Chests seem to be coming out like two months in two month spans. I don't know why, but uh, we love opening chests. So see you guys later.